What has the back page reaction been? John is now guiding us through it all. His former Arsenal midfielder turned broadcaster, Adrian Clark. Clarky, morning. Morning, boys. How okay. are we? Really good. good. Yeah, big game, isn't it, tonight? Um, can't wait for it. Um, back page of the sun. Sterling rises. Roy banks on hated one to keep us in the Euros. I've got to be honest, when I was driving in this morning... I was starting to think about who's going to play tonight and I wonder what the team will be I hadn't even thought of Raheem Sterling because he because he's, been, because he's been so out of sorts he was sorts. pretty poor against Wales wasn't he I mean that first half I mean he, he didn't look like he wanted the ball confidence very mm. low you know as a footballer mm. yourself oh. I mean if your confidence it's is low it's, it's, it's a nightmare you yeah. know you just don't want the ball you don't want to let everyone down, if you like. And so, look, maybe yeah. they've seen something in training that uh, he's he's improved and he's ready to go again. Yeah, where well, the pressure is on him, isn't it? It's one of those. Massive if he pressure. does not start this match well, the fans, Don't hit the fans, any more the fans are going to be on his back. You know, he's got to have a very, very good first half, hasn't he, Raheem Sterling? Mm. The reason is that if there is a weak link in this Iceland side, it's maybe at the full-backs, yes. and we're looking to create overloads. And obviously try and um, get around this these banks of form. So are we looking at are we looking at Sturridge, Kane and Sterling White? That's that is the side that the, the papers are saying. And let's be honest, every time I've been in here, the papers have nailed it. The last yeah, few I think games, Sturridge, that, 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 Sturridge was, was a certainty to play, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I mean, think he's, you want his little bit of right guy. You want his guy cutting on his left foot. Is you know, is, is, this, is this is player. this is where I think he's missing Danny Welbeck, isn't he? You know, he's yes. someone to yeah. travel with the ball, um, and and it, and that again, we go, we can always go back to the Andros Townsend. I think he should have been picked ahead of Ross Barkley. He, who he clearly doesn't want to yeah. really really trust trust with that role. The alternatives would be, wouldn't they? Of course, Vardy out left. Uh, just, just well, you could put Rooney the on the option. left as well. Yeah. Rooney could go on the left, and maybe another midfielder comes yeah. in like Barkley. And what about uh, Marcus Rashford? Because he he played him at the stadium yeah, a lot, didn't yeah. he? He used him at the stadium a lot on the right hand side. Um, in a kind he of well, on, he come on the left hand side yeah. against Wales, didn't yeah, he? He, he? He looked quite sharp. In a Welbeck type role, Marcus Rashford. And I thought, aye, aye, Roy Hodgson's trying to trying to think of him in in in, in that side of, sort of um, frame of mind. But even though it's not his best position, so it looks like Raheem Sterling's got the nod. But uh, it's a big call, isn't it? It's a big, it's a big. No, I don't. Yeah. Um, uh, so what about? Did you 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 heard the news, Clarky? Sorry, I'm mm. not trying to tell you what to do. Mm. Uh, Messi oh, I can't retiring. Believe it. I can't believe from it. international. Twenty nine, twenty nine years old. I mean, look, the World Cups. I mean, one of the, I mean, obviously, I, I would watch the World Cup anyway, and you always look forward to it. But and the missus said Aguero as well. No way. I that's mean, what, that's where, honestly, I don't yeah. know if he's just had the laugh. Look, he's had, he's had big disappointments, hasn't he, with Argentina? Mascarano as well. Yeah, uh, he's not that popular. I mean, he's popular in Argentina, but he's not got that Diego Maradona no. hero status. I think the fans are on his back a little bit, and and the pressure is on him to deliver. And maybe he's just thought, I've had enough. The problem is. He, he might not feel that Argentina are ever good enough to win the World Cup, even though they've got him and Aguero and Higuain at mm. the back. They're not great, are they? Uh, and I don't think throughout the whole team, Argentina are, uh, are maybe capable. But yeah, it's a, it's a shock and I hope he changes his mind, to be perfectly honest. I wouldn't be surprised if he changed his mind because, I mean, 29 is, is too soon, isn't yeah. it? Um, what else have we got? Well, <clears throat> I think we should concentrate on this game a little bit longer. Um, England's record in knockout competitions is... Well, it's woeful. It really is. You're, um, not, you're not saying Iceland are going to beat them. No, no but the son, of, the son have got this piece, our record cuts no ice. Rooney cool over history of woe. Now, it really is a history of woe. Yeah, but uh, uh, we've got to be beating Iceland. I mean, with, with, yeah. a, with, with, a, with France lined up France and Paris lined as up. well. What, what, Come what, what, on. Paul Hayward says, yeah, time to show up, sh- show up as one of the big fish in this tournament. But he also makes the point that we... we we as a nation, we can't afford to take anyone lightly because no, not do you know how many times we've won in the knockout stages at the Euros? None, no. ever. Well, never we... in ninety minutes. We beat Spain on penalties in Euro '96. That's it. I think we've won seven times ever in the knockout stages of a World Cup on Euros. Only three times without the need of uh, in ninety minutes. So, so look, we're not good. Who's at their this. danger in <clears throat> Iceland? Well, uh, Sigurdsson, isn't he? Is Sigurdsson, yeah. Um, and Bjarnason, he's the other guy. Because I've got a friend, actually. Off the left-hand side. friend, Dean Martin, who, who used to play over here for West Ham. And he's the Iceland under-19 coach. And, and he was telling me, Bjarnason is the one. 
he said he's got an unbelievable engine. Hmm. He, will, he, will, he will fly into the box, and this was interesting. He said, he said he'll go down. He said any little touch inside the box, any of the boys, he said they will go down. And and and, and he, he's spoken to Pitlin in the camp. He knows, they'll be, they'll be playing he for knows all the, he knows all the players, and he said he said they fancy it. Yeah, and he said that, well they're going to fancy. He it, said they're, they're going to park two buses. <laughs> and, and they're gonna and, and they're gonna play for penalties and yep. try and nick a, try and nick a penalty maybe in in normal time. So and they've also got this long throw specialist. The Daily Mail are talking about that. Greta, um, uh, no, it wasn't the Daily Mail. Uh, the Mirror, no flap over Delap. Hodgson not worried about Aaron Gunnison's long throws. It's a weapon that maybe yeah. these, these guys are not used to it. We don't see it. They're in the Premier League anymore. I mean, you had it with. The lap, I suppose, when yeah, you played. You've yeah. got two big boys at the back there. You know, if they, if they can't deal with that, you've got to deal with that. You've got to deal, got to deal with it, haven't you? Um, but nothing. I still don't get any giants, have they? Look, they're no great shakes. They're basic. They're, 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 they're not the most. How they play? How yeah. they play? They'd be they're, they're, the manager. Be some when we win the ball back in midfield, get it wide. Twenty five two v one. You know, if, if you've got to get stowage tracking back at uh, an occasion, maybe you can get on that side. Might be a, an opening for Iceland on wide areas mm. where. You know, where the full-backs have got bomb on uh, as well. But, you know, look, we expect England to get through and, it, and set that game up. England, France, oh, what a game that would be. Without a doubt. All uh, right, quick break. is coming up 7-12. Back with Adrian Clark and a tick. So, Ashley Williams. Adrian, will it be fit in time for the quarterfinals with Belgium? They need everything going for them, Wales. They really Against the side last night that were brilliant. Oh, they were on fire, weren't they? And Edin Hazard. And, uh, well, the first half, I thought Kevin De Bruyne was, was sensational. He, everything he did was magical. And then in the second half, it, it was Edin Hazard, wasn't it, that just took over. Doesn't bode well for, for the Welsh. And this is bad news. Back page of The Sun. Martin Blackburn writes the story. It's a dash for Ash. Ashley Williams in a race to be race against time to be fit for Wales. His Euro quarter final. He had his shoulder popped out. Um, or popped back in after a collision with his own teammate, uh, Johnny mm. Williams. So that's painful. I've never happened to me. No, not, not me. No. Well, I tell you what, did my collarbone. But... No, but Brian Robson told me. Oh, he had, he had it, it a few times. He? he had it a few yeah, times. Yeah, a few times. And he? he said to yeah. me, it's the, the, the most painful injury Oof. he's ever had. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I did my collarbone. That wasn't that wasn't fun, let me tell you. But, but no, the, um, so it's not, not good for Wales because he is the linchpin, isn't he? James Collins is the one on standby. Pretty reliable good defender, yeah. Good, good yeah. player. Did well for West Ham last year, but they'll miss Ashley Williams. He's the kind of sort of heroic guy that will just well, Collins, fling himself in Collins front of everything. If Collins is in there, you know, the, if it's Lukaku again, mm. you know, Collins might battle him. True, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I wouldn't fancy too much Collins mm. against Hazard, but against <laughs> Lukaku, yeah. 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 No, exactly. I think it's all about the wide, the wide men in that game, Hazard and, and De Bruyne, and, and the fullbacks, the wingbacks. They're gonna. Have their hands full. Um, it's interesting. I'm getting a bit carried away in the Guardian. Can Garadona do a Diego for Wales? He can't, can he? I mean, they're talking about can he carry Wales all the way like the, like well, Diego Maradona? Did. I mean, Belgium are looking good, but you never know. I mean, mm. Ramsey's uh, had a good tournament so far as well. Mm. So they've got players who can win your games, um, yeah. which is going to be very important. Uh, and look, and it's, it's their final. That's how you've got to go yeah. into the game. This is the final. If we can beat Belgium. Belgium are, are looking very good. They're third yeah. favourites at the I moment. I thought Mountains was their best player. Hungary's. Yeah. <sighs> he, they don't want to be starting with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was looking at you there. I was thinking, hey, what game are you watching? <laughs> Uh, um, Hungary's best player. Uh, yeah, there, was um, a li- there was a little wager last night on Belgium. Yeah, um, I'm like, get him off. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't good. He was. Uh, yeah, um, Liverpool are going to make a signing today, according to the newspaper. This one's been bubbling Manny, away. Manny. Yeah, it's been bubbling away for, for a week or two. Um, yeah, uh, Express right. Jurgen gets his Mane for thirty million pounds. A lot of money. But I think he's probably worth it, isn't he? Yeah. In, the, in the modern who's, who's, gone, who's gone from uh, Norwich, isn't he? Uh, gone Nathan Redmond, Redmond looks like. I like, to, him. Uh, I like him as a good, player. Good player. He's a yeah. young, 22. Just so. needs to sharpen up maybe on his his, his goal tally, doesn't mm. he, Redmond? But I love, love watching Manchester him. Manchester United making a few signings as well. Yeah. well, Ibrahimovic is the one. Uh, uh, what's, what's his name, Clarky? The new one from Mkhitaryan. Russia? Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan. Yeah, did they right there, didn't they? Because <laughs> yeah, you heard him say it. <laughs> no, he's a good player as well. I mean, Ibrahimovic is a top player. Next and, week, that would be a great week, signing. That would um, be a great sign for Manchester United. Yeah, next yeah. week, I think yeah. he signs. Yeah, but Mane, I think, it will excite the, the fans at Anfield. He, he's, he's, he's an entertaining player to watch. On his day, 
Mm. Well, we've seen him score hat tricks. Nasty, he's a nasty streak to him as well. Yeah. He's a little no, he'll, he's win, a, he's he'll, a he'll win penalties. And, and I, I like the signings they're making. They've got Joel Matip. And the goalie, by the way, Loris Carrius. I do a bit of Bundesliga commentary for TalkSport International. Wait, what, do you? Yeah, do a bit. Do a bit, down, yeah, do, do a bit downstairs <laughs> during the course of the season. It's great stuff. And um, So I've watched a bit. And this this keeper's decent, and I think he's better than um, Simon Mignolet. So, who would like, you be backing next year for the Premier League? <sighs> who we go for? <laughs> Providing Man City spend a lot of money, I think it's hard to back against Guardiola. But I, I, I just don't know. I, I'm, I'm I'm always positive with Arsenal, but C- City with Guardiola, you, you've got you got to worry about. Him. I, yeah, I think Man United. Though, who do you fancy tonight, Italy or Spain? Um, Spain. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I've been impressed with Spain, and they weren't obviously great last time out. But but for me, Spain Germany is is going to be the match of the tournament in the quarters. The winner of that, I think, will win. Germany it. looked good to me. Yeah, yeah. swaggers back. Yeah, definitely. Um, Drexler up front, you yeah. know, great movement. Why? Well, while we're on the subject of Southampton, by the way, going back What's to that. What's your throat, by the way? Yeah, I'm a bit throaty, aren't it's I? It's a Monday morning. I've been talking too much during the Euros. Just can't. I've been yeah, yeah jabbering away way too much, um, cracking up. Um, According to the Telegraph, um, this is an exclusive from Jeremy Wilson. Manager Southampton to appoint Puel as Puel, their new yeah, manager. Yeah. Claude Puel, fifty-four, yeah. fifty-four years old, three-year deal. By all accounts, he's beaten off Pellegrini for the job. It's come down to the two. Um, he's Where, a, what's, what's his uh, history? Where's he, he been? Won the title with Monaco. Yes, did very well with Lyon, and he was manager of Nice mm. as well. But his reputation is giving young players a chance. 